Friday he called and he took a job elsewhere, full time, working 12 hour shifts. So I'm gonna start over again. Okay. And also the Glocks arrived today, so we'll be transitioning from the new ones and shipping the old ones back under that agreement I had back in August, where they were buying them back. And we got new ones for 75 a piece. So we'll be heading to the range within the next two weeks. That's all I have. Okay. Bruce. Um, first of all, Salem Fire is having a uh, class for the seven deadly sins of the fire grounds. I have two gentlemen that would like to attend that. Um, it is $30 a person. So I'd like to know if I get approval for $60 to send those. Okay. So moved. <coughs> Thank you. Second of all, um, our breakfast will be November 21st this year. Okay, November 21st. That's a pancake breakfast. Correct. Pancake, okay. sausage, all you can eat. Okay. Good. That's the weekend before Thanksgiving. Correct. Okay. Uh, the other issue we've been having, the only other issue we have, um, our refilling station for our SCBA tanks. Um, it has. It's pretty old. Uh, it's been having some major issues. Um, I sent out to Warren Fire. I got a quote. I do believe, I don't know if Susan has a copy of it. You have a copy of it? Okay. Um, I can't find nobody to certify it or inspect it because it's so old. Um, they deem it unsafe. Um, it won't quite take our air bottles up to the 2216 that we need. So, um, I'd like your, what you guys think about possibly purchasing a new one. Okay, and is that the one that you, you gave us an estimate for, was it 38000 I think it was. $38,230. Yes, that's delivered, set up. Um, I think it's just a single station filler. It doesn't fill multiple bottles at one time. Jeff, do you have any idea on anything like that? If you the one I got, like I said, we got from a FEMA grant, and I I dealt with Finley Fire because I got a quote from both of them. I don't, you got Brandon Beeson's. Uh, he had never got back to me. I, I, I would wait till you hear from him because he. Okay. he I hate to no. person being televised. You, know, you don't want to competitors against each other, but <laughs> he come in a heck of a lot lower. Did he? Yeah. Okay. And they sell Eagle. I think it's called an Evil Raptor or whatever that we got. Does it fill multiple bottles or just? Um, it's, we went with a two station and it's a high pressure so it, it does it pretty quick. Yeah. And the okay. Cascade system, I think we got six bottles now. But that's the thing you got to look at because when I got the original system, the compressor wasn't big enough. It was like peaked. So we had to get a new compressor, which we got the grant money also. Yeah. But you need his contact or his email or anything. A lot of times he answers the email quicker than he does his phone. Okay. I can get that to you. I got his email. And yeah, send him an email and say this is what I want. Okay. If you're just looking for a single station, I'd say he'd probably give you a pretty good shot. Yeah. Okay. I'll contact him and see him. Who are you working with? Tim Heitzer? Yes. Okay. Bruce, the one that you were working with, does that include a compressor? Or yes, that's a compressor. That's and, that's uh, everything. So you wouldn't bottles. have it. It'll come with um, three or four brand new bottles. 
Okay. To stand up there. Okay, I was just, when you said you had to go back and then get a compressor, I wanted to make sure that was going to include a compressor, the one you were going to. Yeah, it's the whole at. system. Okay. You're, you're going to have to update the whole thing because if you have a problem with that now, as you know, yeah. as a compressor you probably got, it's not going to be big enough. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, you're going to follow up, Bruce, and try and, yes. try and find out some more information. Okay, okay, at least you put us on notice that we need to be thinking about this and looking, looking down the road to get something in the future. Okay. Okay. Thank you much. Thank you. Okay, under new business, we need a motion to excuse Chairman Mix from the meeting tonight. So moved. Second. Susan, are you going to call us out or do we no, need that? No, not on that. Okay. Uh, the September reports for trust tree review and approval, police, road, and fire departments. Zoning report we've already talked to with Jeff. Any other new business? Uh, under old business, the leaf bags at Home Depot, October 17th, you must show a driver's license. Leaf pickup, we've mentioned this before, but the leaf pickup will begin on November 2nd on the north side of the township for two weeks and will then move to the south side of the township on November 16th for two weeks. Leaves must be in a bag that can be lifted under the truck by one person and must be curbside. Sticks and twigs should be bundled separately and will be picked up at a different time. Trick or treat in the township is Saturday, October 31st from 5 to 7, the same as the city of Salem. Any other old business? Just this Home, home Depot thing is 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Home Depot. Okay. And we need approval of the minutes and financial statements. Uh, we need a motion to approve minutes and financials of 9 28 2015. So moved. Second. Fiscal officers announcements. If any checks and ACHs for 22,253, you will be receiving some estate tax before year end. There was an appeals hearing on 9 30, it was approved. Um, Trustee Breedabo will be attending the next safety council meeting on 10-23 and we did receive a grant from the Elks for the fire department. Okay, and on that Elks grant, uh, I haven't been contacted yet, so they have not received that yet and hopefully we'll have that for the next meeting. <coughs> okay, uh, Trustee comments? I'd just okay. like to thank our uh, Columbiana County Surveyor for coming out and uh, and uh, surveying the South Station and the engineer's office for all their help. And I would second that. And other than that, I have nothing else. And we're adjourned.